by Design and I am really excited today because I have a special guest in the studio to help me celebrate my birthday and we're going to make a fun project together. I have my granddaughter Sophie with me. Sophie, come on in. And here she is. Say hi to everybody, Sophie. <laughs> you can use your voice. Hi. Yay, Sophie's here. Sophie's 10 and she loves to craft. And this collection is from Lazaro Love. It's their Watermelon Friends and Watermelon Summer. And it's just so perfect for a 10 year old girl. So we thought we would make this fun album together. And um, do you have any questions, Soph? Nope. Okay. So the base is a Graphic 45 tag and pocket. It's one of the old ones. And I kind of cannibalized it and changed it out. I ripped out the pages from the center and then put built a new binding with one inch gussets between and then um, glued it back in. It was also a craft album. So I put down a coat of ivory paint, chalk paint, and then came back and sanded it up to give it a really nice shabby chic finish. So I also threw in, because I was getting low on this collection, some papers from um, Graphic 45 Bohemian Bazaar and a few pieces from Flutter. But they all work together really well. And um, we'll just take a quick tour through. We've built a pocket here in the front. This, so I thought this would be a really fun collection to put summer pictures in, yeah. journal, talk about things you love. It could kind of be like a really fun space. So we have little hidden pocket pages mm -hmm. with pullouts and we have regular pockets. We have tags here. Um, this is a super quick and easy album to put together. And Sophie and I are going to, um, well, what are, you, what are you envisioning with this, Sophie? This is your project. I'm thinking uh, a few tags on the front, maybe. Okay. Maybe some girls. Yeah, look at these cute know. girls. Those are so cute. Aren't they, darling? They're so cute. Yeah. So just really, I like them all. I know. I love them, too. So we can stick them in here. We can put them in the pockets like paper oh, dolls. Mm -hmm. We can... So, um, is there a difference between the papers you use, the different papers you use? Not really. They're just from different lines. But what I did, that's a great question. Because what you do when you're doing a project mashup like this, where you're bringing in papers from other collections, I went with keeping the hues the same. So these deep pinks, these deep greens, and I'll show you. This is actually from Bohemian Bazaar. Really? It yeah. goes really well. <laughs> I know, right? It's like a perfect match. And then this is from Flutter. So really? as long as you keep your, like these are real neutral patterns. Does this do your same colors? Yeah, stay in the same, not just the color family, but the hue. See how this is kind of a watermelony mm -hmm. pink, just yeah. like this? Mm -hmm. And this looks like the same as the green stripes. Uh, yeah. So that's a mm -hmm. real key okay. to making a mashup work is to ch choose color hues okay. that match. Cool. So we're gonna take a few minutes we're gonna have some crafty fun. Do you wanna start? Um, I usually do the cover last because that way it doesn't get mashed oh, while yeah. you're working. Good point. Good point. But we can work together on this inside pocket if you want to yeah, start sure. start mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. So what do you see in here? So I'm thinking maybe flip-flops. Ah. One of these maybe. Cute, yeah, yeah great idea. What, I don't know what options we have. In well, there. we have, look, all these tags. Oh. Like super fun. This one's so cute, I like that one. You like that one, party time? So like one of these in the yeah, pocket, yeah. we could, we've got room for a couple in there if yeah, you want. Yeah, we do, um, I, I'm not saying yes on the flip flop. So, I love you love her, okay. And what we can do is we can get the buttons and the glue gun out and we can add oh, buttons cool. to the top if you uh -huh. want, then the buttons act like pull tabs. Sure. You like yeah. that idea? Uh -huh. And then down here you can do, here's a little thing you can do. We've got these little banners. You can do a oh. banner across the pocket with your, where's our flip-flops? Flip-flops, flip-flops. Flip yeah, flops. with a pair of flip-flops. I like the pink Or ones. the pink ones, yep, we can do that. And we, if we use chipboard underneath, everything will work. Okay. And then, um, or the other thing you can do is put a partial tag on the pocket like this, and then put a title there. So there's oh. lots of options. Mm -hmm. um, Sophie and I are gonna work on this, get some pages done. Then we'll come back and show you kind of what we did on each of the different page styles. And um, we'll be back. Cool. So don't go away. All right, you ready to dig in? Yep. All right, awesome. 
So, Soph, what did you have in mind for this album? Well, I'm thinking we could do, um, I really liked, where is he? These two on the front covers. They're okay. Really cute. So why are you wanting two girls? Because it just reminds me of me and my sisters. Oh, okay. There you go. How many of you are there? Three. Three. And how old is everybody? Julia is... Seven. Seven. Lee is four. And I'm ten. That's right. That's right. This reminds me of me and Julia. Yep. The it's... problem is I'm Sophie. This is... I know, the blonde hair and the brown yeah. hair is mixed up, but, but people get the oh, idea. Yeah. It's fun. So what we did on this first page to kind of start the theme going, you want to talk about what we did here and why we did it? Yeah, well, we created dimension mm -hmm. right here. These two are just glued down flat. We used a bit of chipboard, one piece on chip, of chipboard on this, and we did two pieces of chipboard on that. Right, and then what that does is creates instant depth. So even though you've got a lot going on here, everything stands out on its mm -hmm. own. So what we'll do here, you can use this little spot for journaling. Mm -hmm. And over here, you put your picture. Yep. And you guys spend a lot of time at the pool in the mm -hmm. summer, so this will be great for that. Mm -hmm. All right, awesome, let's go on. Okay. Okay, so we made this really cute uh, bookmark. Why do we make a bookmark, Soph? It fits in, in a here perfectly. Want to show them how it works? Yeah, show it to you. So it opens? It opens. That's cute. Yep. And then for a bookmark, you just flip those two pieces and a, pa and a page in between mm -hmm. it. Right. Really and cute. And it's so cute. Yeah, and who likes to read? Me. Yeah, so a bookmark would be fun. So we thought we'd show you how to make this bookmark. So we'll move this over here. We've got a scrap of our green paper and we've got one of these small tags. Now, Sophie, I want you to put glue just on this very top rounded part of the tag, and not a ton, just enough to hold it in place. Yep, that's perfect. Then we're just gonna place this, centering it with a little bit of a border on both sides and along the top, and press that down. Now we come in with our scissors, and we're just going to cut along the bottom edge like that mm -hmm. and then cut around the shaped top like that and now this is the part that will slip over the book that is so cute yeah so i have okay. a hole punch over there so you want the small one um see that little silver one right there, there perfect so we're just gonna punch our hole, and then we'll thread, I think I had some loose ribbon somewhere. Loose ribbon somewhere. Yeah, our workstation is getting kind of messy. No, really? Yes, a little bit. Would this work? Yeah, is the green one there too? Green, the green one, the green one. Uh, found it. Perfect. So we're just gonna thread these through together, through the little hole. And we can throw that in the trash, kind of keep the mess at a, at a minimum here. Thread these through. And then what color string did I use on that? Did I use burlap or did I use gold? Mm. Gold. gold, all right. So I'm gonna get some gold string. That is so cute. Mm -hmm. I love that little girl. Isn't she darling? I like her hat. So, folded this in half. You should have a hat like that. You'd look great in a hat like that. Thanks. And now we're just gonna tie a bow. Super quick and easy, but it's adorable. Why don't you go ahead and pick out a white flower to glue on the top? Cool. Something, I like these. yeah, not yeah, too not too big. Is, is that's exactly right. That's what you want. Good choice. Isn't that really tricky getting the bag open? Yep. These kind of bags don't always agree with me. You're doing a great job. All right, so pick the one you like. I'm going to put a little dab of glue right on top of the knot. And then you just stick the flower down. Ta-da! That is so cute. Isn't that cute? And then you can kind of fringe the ends if you want, or you can trim them with like a fishtail. Okay, so now we're at the center of our book. 
So these are called tip-in pages, and you can kind of see why, because they tip in toward the center. You want to guess how these are made? So this dark green cardstock that's in the background, this watermelon green, we cut this piece to eight and a half inches by five and a half. And the reason we did that is our base page is five and a half by five and a half. Mm -hmm. So for a tip-in, I like to go about three inches wider than my base page. Mm -hmm. So the dark green cardstock is all one piece, mm -hmm. eight and a half, mm -hmm. five and a half. Mm -hmm. Scored at five and a half. So this little liner is where you scored. That's where I scored it. Then this liner piece is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And this liner piece is... Oh, it's so cute. I'm sorry. I just did it. Away. <laughs> did you get it? Did you have a vision all of a sudden? Uh -huh. Well, we can put that in there. This liner piece is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. Yeah. And that's a fun thing to do. If you just put your adhesive on one side, you can tuck a note back behind oh, there. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want to go ahead and glue that yeah, in? Sure. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. So just on this one side. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Just a little tiny bead right along the edge. There you go. Perfect. Just enough to hold it in place and then put that it's where you want really it to be. Strong, it is. It's really good glue. This is our favorite. Mm -hmm. and then if you want, you could put like a little button up there yeah. or yeah. no, you like it just like yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. So there you go. So your picture goes here. I don't think she'll fit because you have to bend it, right? Mm. Yeah. But I tried. Yep. But what we can do is decorate these flaps. Cool. So, that is so cute, isn't it? you can do yes. that. No, yes, no, yes, no. Well, you've got know. you've got this whole stack of tags over oh, here. Oh yay! We got loads. Too. Yeah. I like this one. Yep. And a fun thing to do. She's too big. Oh man. You can bring her out like this. So you can do that. So yeah, you just really? put the glue on this one side. Awesome. So like this, and then it's kind of like a shaped edge, and it's really fun. Cool. So line, I like striped paper mm -hmm. because it's easy to line things up. Like cheating, but you don't. Like cheating, cheating, but not cheating. It's cute cheating. It, yep. See? And now when you flip this. It'll stay. Right See? Oh, that is so cute. Oh, Isn't that wow. cute? I could even. So, that. yeah. And you can, but now to make it match, put another one on this side. So pick another one. You could take the same girl, yeah. right? But no. just now she's eating watermelon. This is a, you know why I think this is a good choice? Why is that a good choice? Same girl, mm -hmm. same dress, mm -hmm. same blue background. Mm -hmm. It's a good match. Like visually, it matches. But it's different? But it's different. It matches, but it's different. Okay. And you can see it's a little more, see? That is cute. I like those. See? Yeah, okay. Do you see what I'm saying? Whoops. Uh-oh. Little accident in the studio. All's well. So now we have tip ins that match and a little shaped edge. Super cute. I don't know. Okay, so so we're finished pretty much the inside. Mm -hmm. We just needed to do our little tags. These and are the front cover. Yeah, we're, we'll get to that. But right now we're just finishing the inside. Okay. These are graphic 45 square craft tags. They come with the album. I love and these little metal rings. The there. grommets, aren't they great? I, that's what everybody loves about those. Yeah, so each that. little book has a section, and the little tag sticks out of the pocket. Cool. Which I'm looking for it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Here it is. So just slip that in. And then that's a great place to add journaling or small photos or whatever. And then see, so you've got the cute little shape. It's awesome. out inside. Look, it's really, really look how chunky cute. this guy is getting, right? Ooh. We might have to use a little ribbon to hold it Ooh. close. Do you want to flip through and tell everybody what yeah, you did on each sure. page? Okay, so. Here, it got a little messed up. Speak up. So here we have a cute little tag and a cute little tag. And an awesome little floppy hat. I love this button. <laughs> See, that's a parcel tag. We just glued it right here. It yeah, makes a great little pocket flap. Pocket flap. Yeah. What's happening over here? And then we have three sisters, mm -hmm. and they're enjoying a drink in the uh, summer day. Mm -hmm. And then this and page cream. flips. Flip. Photo here, journaling here. Yep. Turn the page. It's super cute anyway. It is super cute. 
and then we did just a big flower, a flamingo float. I think you put a drink in in the pool, and a sweet summer. Mm -hmm. It's really cute. And show them what this does. So it pulls out there. It's so cute, right? And we have a little ice cream because who doesn't? Who loves ice cream? Everybody. Everybody. And then your photo slips yep. back behind, right? Mm -hmm. So that is an awesome page. Are we gonna cover that up? Um, it's okay. I mean, we could put a little slice of watermelon there if it's gonna bother you. Is it's it gonna, gonna bother, bother you? Me. All right. So find a little slice of watermelon, and we'll do a little live crafting. So there's little channels in here that this slips into. Cool. And if it's not going in smoothly, it means you're not in the channel. So just pull it out and All right. redo. Yep. Put that right oh, there. that's really cute, actually, Soph. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cute. There we go. Perfect. Cute, cute, cute. All right. All right. And then over here is our bookmark. Bookmark. Mm -hmm. Bookmark I number one. This little thing mm -hmm. and then what's it? A little butterfly, butterfly and a little flip flop. I love that. Mm -hmm. And then got a little tag in here. Mm -hmm. We sewed you those. Mm -hmm. So here's another little bookmark. We so do you how to make that. So. Yep, that's good. And then this is another pull out page. page. There you go. Really cute. Now here's a tip. I ran out of paper, right? Mm -hmm. So what we did was we just cut strips and we made it like. Um, a rainbow almost yeah it looks really awesome mm -hmm. um, but that way we were able to cover that even though we had run out of big pieces of paper yep so that slides right in there like that pretty cute it is pretty cute turn the page we have a little girl who loves watermelon but then again who doesn't love watermelon right and this little is our tip double tip in page yep. right pretty cute super like cute I know you do all right, and turn the page. Who doesn't love flip-flops and eyeglasses? Mm -hmm. And this was Sophie's idea to glue these down so that part of them came down like a turn tab. So super cute. And this is just another little yep. insert. And then this is super cute. Yep. It's, a, it's just a little pocket in here. You can put a photo, whatever you want in there. Right, you can slip the photos back mm -hmm. behind, but then you've got the decoration. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. Super. And a tag. So you do those. And here's these. They're a really cute little tag. Just glued a, a flower. All there. we did was put a flower on top. Super duper cute. And easy. Mm -hmm. And easy. And then and here's then another pull out. Again with the cute. Yep, just pull it straight out. There you go. So cute. Did the same I thing. I did not see that. Yeah, did so the cute. same thing here because didn't have any more big pieces of paper. It worked. But it works. So we do it. When it works, we do it. Yay. And this just slips back in. She says it's supposed to. Anyway. It does. I just have to get it lined up. It's always harder to do things on camera. There. See, once it's in the right spot, it just slides in no problem. And now we're at the back page, which is a just tip in. A little tip in. Mm -hmm. Really cute. And just a little doesn't tip in. Little pocket with pocket tags. With tag. Yep. Just Super cute. Super cute. So now we're going to decorate the cover, and then we'll be done because we're both really hungry. We want our lunch. Who doesn't? But <laughs> we're going to decorate lunch the cover. Lunch is awesome. Lunch is awesome. I think it's macaroni and cheese today. Yes. I, I know. Love macaroni and cheese. <laughs> I know. So all right, we're going to decorate the cover. Then we'll come back with the big reveal. Don't go away. Okay. We're done. Wow. Yay. You did really good. What do you think? I love this little bit. You love the bow, mm -hmm. and you love the watermelon and the girls. I love this little bit. The button. Yep. It's super cute. It is so cute. Thank you for spending my birthday with me. Yeah, I, lo I love spending time with you. All right. What Especially alone time. What do you say we go get lunch? Deal. 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 All right, guys. We're going to go get lunch. You go get your craft on. Kathy by Design. See you next time. Bye.